Good afternoon, welcome to the Daily Office, and thank you for joining me. This is evening prayer for Sunday, July 9th. It's the fifth Sunday after Pentecost, and week one in our psalm cycle. The scripture for this service, Psalms 111 and 112. Matthew 22, verse 1 through 14. And the Song of Mary, Luke 1, verse 46 through 55. And now please join me in singing the second verse of Now Thank We All Our God. Oh, may this bounteous God through all our life be near us with ever joyful hearts and blessed peace to cheer us and keep us in his grace and guide us when perplexed and free us from all ills in this world and the next. O oh God, come to my assistance, make haste to help me. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit. As in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. I praise you with my whole heart. Hallelujah. Psalms 111 and 112. Please recite them with me. Hallelujah. I praise you with my whole heart in the assembly of the upright and in the congregation. Your works are great, sought by all that delight in them. Your work is honorable and glorious, and your righteousness endures forever. You have made your wonderful works to be remembered. You are gracious and full of compassion. You have given food to them that fear you. You will always remember your covenant. You have shown us the power of your works, that you may give us the heritage of the heathen. The works of your hands are truth and judgment. All your commandments are sure. They stand fast forever and ever, and are done in truth and uprightness. You sent redemption to your people. You have commanded your covenant forever. Holy and revered is your name. And to fear you is the beginning of wisdom. They that do your commandments understand. Your praise endures forever. Hallelujah, blessed are they that fear you, Most High, that delight greatly in your commands. Their descendants shall be mighty upon the earth. The generation of the upright shall be blessed. Wealth and riches shall be in their house, and their righteousness endures forever. To the upright there is light in the darkness. The righteous are gracious and full of compassion. The good show mercy and lend. They guide their affairs with discretion. Surely they shall not be moved forever. The righteous shall be in everlasting remembrance. They shall not be afraid of evil rumors. Their hearts are fixed, trusting in you, Most High. Their hearts are established. They shall not be afraid. They will see their desire worked upon their enemies. They have given to the poor. <clears throat> their righteousness endures forever. Their horn shall be exalted with honor. The wicked shall see it and be grieved. They shall gnash with their teeth and melt away, and the desire of the wicked shall perish. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I praise you with my whole heart. Hallelujah. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Chapter 22, beginning at verse 1. Once more, Jesus spoke to them in parables, saying, The kingdom of heaven may be compared to a king who gave a wedding banquet for his son. He sent his slaves to call those who had been invited to the wedding banquet, but they would not come. Again, he sent other slaves, saying, Tell those who have been invited, Look, I have prepared my dinner. My oxen and my fat calves have been slaughtered, and everything is ready. Come to the wedding banquet. But they made light of it and went away. 
one to his farm, another to his business. While the rest seized his slaves, mistreated them, and killed them. The king was enraged, and he sent his troops, and he destroyed those murderers, and burned their city. And then he said to his slaves, The wedding is ready, but those invited were not worthy. Go therefore into the main streets and invite everyone you find to the wedding banquet. Those slaves went out into the street and gathered all whom they found, good and bad. And so the wedding hall was filled with guests. But when the king came in to see the guests, he noticed a man there who was not wearing a wedding robe. And he said to him, Friend, how did you get in here without a wedding robe? And he was speechless. Then the king said to the attendants, Bind him hand and foot and throw him into the outer darkness, where there will be weeping and gnashing of teeth. For many are called, but few are chosen. Here ends the lesson. Show us your mercy, O God, and grant us your salvation. Let your priests be clothed with righteousness, and let your saints shout for joy. In you shall we lie down in peace and sleep, for only you make us dwell in safety, and for all of your intentions. And now, in the words our Savior taught us, we are bold to say, Our beloved, which art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, forgive us as we forgive others. Lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. And now, let's recite the Song of Mary together. Hallelujah, my soul proclaims your greatness. My spirit rejoices in God, my Savior. For you have looked with favor on your lowly servant, from this day, all generations will call me blessed. And you have done great things for me, and holy is your name. You have mercy on those who fear you in every generation. You have shown the strength of your arm. You have scattered the proud in their conceit. You have cast down the mighty from their thrones and lifted the lowly. You have filled the hungry with good things and the rich you have set away empty. You have come to the help of your servant Israel, for you have remembered your promise of mercy, the promise you made to our ancestors, to Abraham and Sarah and their children forever. Glory to you, source of all being, eternal word and Holy Spirit, as in the beginning, so now and forever, amen. Hallelujah. We trust in the mercy of God forever. And may the God of hope fill us with all joy and peace in believing through the power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Hallelujah.